That painting's cool. Look at the tombstones in the back. That's like a ghost back there. Now that's definitely cool. That is wild. You know what, like during the depression, maybe these were people looking for work, they lost their homes. Maybe this depicted what the uh, depression was like for people, you know? I'm no museum curator, but this painting looks pretty impressive to me. This is the part of the job I love the most, finding a lost gem like this and hopefully getting it back out into the world. This is neat. I would love to purchase this. Despite a few great objects, the storage shed didn't have much else of value. Oh, made in China. Made in China. No. All right, that's another bust. Now, we're running out of time, and I'm desperate for a big find. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go check out that, uh, what's that, the turkey coop? What's going to be in a turkey coop? Turkeys? We're going to start buying turkeys now? Guys, we got a big blue tarp. Just be so careful. I'm hoping for it, this is really cool. <laughs> In my business, finding something covered with a tarp means one thing. Whatever's underneath is worth protecting. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Man. It's a homemade hot rod. Frankenstein built this thing? Man. I'm in love, brother. No, it's pretty cool. I mean, this thing is so horrible. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my god. It's a flathead V8. There's nothing that gets my blood pumping more than having an old car to fix up. And it's pretty rare that you find a hot rod like this from the 1930s. I got to have this thing. Dude, what do you think? How many cars do you have sitting at your house right now? Jay and I have been gearheads since high school, but I'm the one that gets stuck working on his fantasy cars. Dan, come on. I need you to talk me into this, because all I hear is Ricky going, Jay, if you buy this car. Hey. We're looking at an old. No. Whatever it is, no. Oh, so... If Jay's calling me, it usually means he wants something he shouldn't be buying. We're looking at a beautiful old hot rod. Oh, well, that's good, because I'm having a garage sale in a couple weeks, and maybe I can get rid of it with all the other useless junkers you brought home. Just let her know that I have nothing to do with this. Dan says he'll take full responsibility for anything that happens here. And Mark's chipping in, too. Well, I hope it's big, because if you bring it home, you're going to have to sleep in it. You still there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> She's on board.